मयूरी फडणीस आल्या है तो मैं मंच आमंत्रित करते मयूरी फडणीस हा टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया मधे जर्नालिस्ट है सो अपन तुम तिचे एक्सपीरियंसेस वगैरह ऐकुन घ First and foremost, I'd like to thank Ter Policy Center for giving me this opportunity to address you guys about women in field of journalism. Uh, for most of the Indians, the face of women journalism is that of Barkha Dutt, who went right into the war zone to cover Kargil war. But in our city itself, we have Vinita Deshmukh, who exposed Dow Chemicals. Uh, and the pollution it could have caused river in Raini and the surrounding villages. Uh, it's the same company whose subsidiary uh, company, Union Carbide, was the reason behind Bhopal gas tragedy. Besides that, uh, Dow Chemicals is also infamous for causing pollution in uh, Virginia, the US. Uh, had she not exposed that company back then, the villages around the river would have been doomed by now. Uh, it's not just these two examples, but I work with the Mirror, and Mirror Group, which has four uh, editions, that is Pune, Bangalore, Mumbai, and Ahmedabad. It is also governed by a woman. And there are many other women who are working in this field. The point that I want to make here is, even in media today, like any other field, there are so many women who are working and they they are going strong uh, globally it is said that there are a lot of women at entry level or mid level positions but when it comes to the top brass there's still a scope for improvement if you consider the case of japan japan is uh, japan's economy has been stagnated for the past many years and the reason why they say it is because a lot, large part of their workforce is not uh, been utilized yet, and most of this workforce consists of women. So it gives you an gives you an idea about what could happen if women do not step out of their house boundaries and go out to work. So this is a bit about what women have achieved in this field or their importance for their uh, for in the economy, but. Still today, there are many challenges that people face and people as in women face when it comes to going out. The many places people or women drop out of their careers is because for family reasons. The organizations are not that flexible as much as they could have been to support women. On some fronts, there are also uh, families who do not support. I have been lucky to have a family, my in-laws, my husband, who are very supportive of me and my career. But I've seen a lot of my friends also who don't get this kind of support and which ha holds them back somewhere. Um, it's not hunky-dory, like uh, even though we have many women on top brass, even in the media sector. Um, people often still consider women as the physically weaker sect and uh, I have had that kind of experience when I had gone to cover Siddhagadwadi. Siddhagadwadi is a remote village and like Marin, the village also had huge cracks which were developed. When I uh, came back and contacted the uh, uh, Geological Survey of India, I asked them to go and survey the location. They, I told them the remote, the remoteness of the village and the fact that it is very inaccessible, so you better go with a local person. The man who was in charge, he sort of, you know, smirked at me saying that just because, of, just because of you were a woman, it was difficult for you. But that was not so. When he went himself, he realized that it is indeed a difficult terrain. And that is when he was like, Madam, aap gai kaise? Mere saath jo aaye the, wo to chakkar aake gir gaye the. Aadhe raaste mein hai. There is a lot of problem with stereotyping women also. Like when I was a kid, people often used to tag me as a tomboy for my love for comfortable clothing, short hair. 
but that's not so i am also as much as a woman as in any other person just because i am an aberration to you know the molds that the society has set it does not make me any less of a woman and uh, at the last i would like to say that every woman has a capability to reach at top all she needs is a little bit of support and opportunity thank you